About two weeks into the school year and UW-Madison is already pausing all in-person classes for the next two weeks. More than a thousand students have tested positive for COVID-19 there. Our Ryan Jenkins shows us how university leaders are stepping up precautions. Starting today, all face-to-face -face instruction will shift online until at least September 25th, and students who live in two dorms are now being quarantined. The libraries, student union, and gyms have all been closed on campus in Madison. The dining halls are carry-out only. Now, explaining that decision, the chancellor released a statement just last night saying, in part, quote, our positive test rate among students continues to rise far too rapidly. It has been 20% or greater for the past two days, end quote. Students have been told not to move home. Instead, they're being asked to stay on campus and to get tested. Meanwhile, the Dane County executive sent a letter asking the university to close dorms and to send students home. Students, of course, are feeling the pressure to stay safe as well. It's a lot of pressure to stay safe, stay apart from people. Where none of these kids came to just sit in a dorm and we shouldn't expect them to. Our policies should reflect how people are actually going to behave, not how we want them to behave. And of course, the spread of coronavirus is a concern at campuses statewide. So far, UW-Milwaukee only reporting four students to have tested positive, but they still have plans in place right now to test every student who lives on campus for the coronavirus. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.